Hello everyone, I'm Aaron, a birding naturalist. Welcome back. I would like to take you with me on a trip to a special habitat restoration project called the Three Creeks Parkway Restoration Project. Let's have a look. So I started working at a state agency called the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta Conservancy, which I'll just call the Delta Conservancy, in late 2015. And in 2016 is when we brought our first batch of projects with this new grant program that had just started at the Delta Conservancy to the Delta Conservancy's board for consideration and approval. And one of those projects that was considered and ended up being approved at that uh, 2016 event was one right here. I am in Brentwood, California at a place called the Three Creeks Parkway Habitat Restoration Project. Three Creeks is called Three Creeks because there are three creeks that run through, at least at their lower reaches, the fairly urban areas of Brentwood and Oakley and are channelized through these neighborhoods, but then all come together in a fairly close area. The Three Creeks are Marsh Creek, Deer Creek, and Sand Creek. And these three creeks merge together in about a block from each other in kind of one stretch of Brentwood. Now you can see behind me one of those creeks coming in and you can see the shape that it is in currently. It is narrow. It is straight. It has very steep banks and those banks are very close to where the water is down at the bottom. There is no habitat, no trees, up on the banks, no lines of shrubs or native bushes or anything like that. And so that's what the entire stretch of the parkway looked like. And so there was a project that was, like I said, considered and approved to change that, to set those levees back a ways, to open that bank up and allow the creeks to have some space to move in between those banks, to flatten the areas that had been sort of exposed where the, when those banks got moved back to create raised floodplain benches, to plant those benches with native habitat. And so the group that uh, brought this forward was a group called American Rivers. And so the Delta Conservancy, my agency, gave American Rivers about $800,000 to transform about a mile or so uh, along these creeks, uh, their sort of confluences of these three creeks, and to create more native habitat. I haven't been back here in quite some time, and so I'm really excited to come back and see what this project now looks like, how the habitat has developed, all the new plants that have been installed. So uh, let's go along together and see what we can find. One of the reasons that Marsh Creek, which is the longest of the three creeks, was an especially tempting and interesting thing to look at restoring was that it actually flows from Mount Diablo, which is that way, all the way down into the Delta, which is that way. And so it forms this connection between these two very different habitats. This means a lot of things, honestly. It means that it's a pathway for fish to travel up and down, even maybe salmonids someday, travel up and down Marsh Creek and to get to more wild, native, uh, naturalized, headwaters areas. It means that waters flowing out of the Diablo range and off of these cities will flow into the Delta, but with some habitat restoration projects in place, it helps purify the water, remove contaminations, break down pollutants before they reach the Delta itself. Another reason why this corridor is so important is because it allows for the space, the room, for environments, every part of the ecosystem, to respond to climate change. As climate changes over the coming decades, as things like sea level rise, as temperature gradients change, organisms, plants, animals, every living organism is going to need space to be able to move around and adjust to those changes. And so by creating a corridor of habitat, a pathway that leads all the way from the delta, sea level, 
up into the higher elevations in the Diablo range, this corridor becomes a pathway for those organisms to move and shift any way they need to in order to hopefully continue to survive and persist in the landscape. So that's one reason why corridors are so important. And that's one reason why this particular project was so valuable and creates such an important link in this chain of connections. Here's an example of what the banks of these creeks often look like in urban areas. Highly armored, that's rock and concrete piled up there to stabilize the bank so that it can't possibly move. But it also means the stream has no ability to sinuously curve and sort of form natural stream shapes. It also means there is basically nothing growing on that slope. Some little grasses poking up through some of the cracks, but that's about it. So that is definitely what we wanted to change in this habitat restoration project. And the goal was to change it into something that looked more like this. So if you can imagine, let me just stabilize this. If you can imagine back before this project started, that bank was here and the bank that's way over here was more like there. So it formed this very narrow sort of trapezoidal uh, shape of a stream canal. And now with those banks set back so far and all of that flat area, that floodplain habitat created, this is just a much wider, much more natural, much healthier ecosystem than it used to be. Thousands of native plants were installed and are now taking, uh, taking hold and growing up, and it's just looking beautiful. So exciting to see this project. It's so amazing to see how fast riparian trees can grow up. This whole band of young cottonwoods here along this side of the trail, so the, all of these trees, did not exist here when the project was first envisioned by American Rivers and first brought to the Delta Conservancy for funding. They've all been planted in the past five to seven years. And now, going from an area that just had virtually no habitat, no cover, no shade, we now have this band, this corridor of riparian habitat that can keep the water in the creeks cooler because they're shaded, can provide homes for many insects. Those insects can then provide food for countless birds. An amazing transformation of this creek corridor. This is another stretch of the parkway. You can see residential homes on one side, little storm washer, stormwater capture strip, the trail itself, and then this newly installed habitat. What a wonderful access for those houses to have this natural and growing habitat so close by. What a wonderful connection to nature. Well, there you have it, the Three Creeks Parkway Habitat Restoration Project. What? Eight years later. Uh, gotta say, it's been remarkably rewarding for me to come back to this site. After, like I said, not having seen it for uh, probably seven of those eight years. And to see how the plants have been installed, how everything is growing, how the habitat has changed, how the whole landscape around this creek is different and new and honestly better than it used to be. It's wonderful to see what habitat, res habitat restoration projects can do and how much they really work. And so it's why projects like this one are so important. They really do make a dramatic difference on the landscape to people, to other animals, to plants, to ecosystems as a whole. Thank you very much for the view and for joining me on this site visit. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next time, Enjoy the natural world. <laughs>